to level that up and then how these are kind of stacked on top of each other there'll be three of those that height and then these will set at this end and i guess the pumps and stuff like that go in each one of these holds 17 gallons of water because this is actually going to be i guess a pondless water feature so you'll drop them in there have your liner in and then everything around them just gets filled up with river rock and creek rock i believe and then kind of the border is what all the arkansas stone goes on there so there's not actually like a pond or anything in the bottom that looks like the waterfall just runs into some rock and disappears so from what i'm understanding it runs down through these blocks that's kind of the reservoir and then the two pumps that go in this thing run back up the lines on the side and then i think those things are filled and then it kind of water waterfalls or cascades down the hill so yeah while well, he's gone getting the liner i'm gonna jump down in there and try to get this spot kind of leveled up and check it with the laser and then when he gets here we'll drop the liner in and then see if we can set these water blocks I think that's about what we need. I mean, <laughs> you get a level and you walk on that side to check this side and it pumps pretty bad, but uh, it's a nice soft, I don't know, three or four inch base and stuff like that that's in there. So I guess that's what they're looking for. I didn't know. I thought you could use like, I don't know, three quarter clean or some kind of clean rock to get it nice and flat. But apparently that's what you want on that liner so you don't punch a hole or anything in it. So he shows back up we'll unfold it drape it out set the aqua blocks down in there and then uh yeah see what the next step is I'm 
my truck down here, but it's so wet. And Any kind of decent videos. 
we got that kind of dug out it's ended up eh, it's about six and a half seven feet across and then it's maybe six inches down from the top of that concrete but uh i think they're gonna put creek rock in there four feet out four to five feet and then dry stack like that arkansas stone and make a retaining wall but they needed room for a pipe and drainage and then they wanted the top of the rock i believe an inch or so below that concrete so this way they can go in there and put like a nice base to sprinkle their base rock or their creek rock down and then dry stack all their stones so and then this is the pile that i got probably a quarter or so or a third of a dump truck load left but we're gonna haul those off another day because where i'm taking them to now uh, i got another job where they're wanting to add on to the yard was a little muddy so and it's just right down the road so instead of hauling it somewhere else we're just gonna wait until i can uh, get back in there because it's in a subdivision i'm sure i made some friends with getting a little bit of mud on the road but uh we're gonna load up for today and see what tomorrow brings